Hey, this is Raindrop Lopez, the first lady of hip rock, and you are watching MadamNoir.com. About the TLC biopic, um, number one, my family didn't have anything to do with it, so, you know, I would have liked to, you know, have my family involved, you know, as far as, you know, input on Lisa's side of you know, her perspective of how things went down. At first, I was not, well, I didn't really know what to feel about Little Mama playing Lisa because I didn't know her to be an actress, you know, but I was able to go up to the set one time and I did see her playing Lisa and she actually surprised me and I was like, wow, you know, she was really doing a really good job at portraying Lisa, so. I was pleasantly surprised. Oh, I mean, Kiki, I've loved her. I've followed her since she was a little kid, and, you know, she did great as always. And Drew Sador, I was not familiar with her, but I think she did amazing. Well, my mother, brother, and me, we feel the same way about not being involved. You know, it's just like, why not? And that's, you know, the question, you know. We're not saying that, you know, we wanted to write the movie, you know, we wanted to make decisions, but it's just like, when you have something happening right down the street from you, like we live in Atlanta, the movie's being shot in Atlanta, everyone we know is like in the movie, you know, like except for us. It seemed like the Lisa's family was like the only people not involved in the movie, not invited to the set. It was just, I don't know, it was just weird and an uncomfortable feeling, you know, I would have liked to have been involved, you know. I went to the premiere and I was not invited to walk the red carpet. You know, I get there, I got, the stripe under my eye to represent my sister. You know, I'm all dressed up, ready to walk the red carpet, and I'm told I can't. You know, none of Left Eye's family is welcome to walk the red carpet. Eventually, a couple of uh, women that worked for LaFace walked in, and when they saw me behind the barricade, you know, and they inquired, they were like, it's not right. You know, so they went and said something to the person that made that decision. And then a couple minutes later, they came and let me on the red carpet after like an hour and a half. Uh, I saw her inside. I saw, yeah, I saw them. Chili didn't have a conversation. Me and Tian had a short, short conversation. She was just asking me um, what I felt about the, um, the movie because my family had a private pre-screening. And so, you know, it wasn't really the time to really talk about how I really felt. You know, I just told her it was okay, but there were, you know, some scenes here and there, you know, that I felt, you know, didn't show Lisa's true side. It's a movie, it's never gonna be 100% accurate. And I know this, you know, my family knows this, you know. It's not like, oh, well, no, she didn't say that, she didn't say that. It wasn't about that, it's about a person's character. One um, thing, they were doing the um, creep video. And in the creep video, they have Lisa putting black tape over her mouth because she can't get her way, okay? Now, she did put black tape over her mouth, but it wasn't because she get couldn't get her way, it was because she didn't believe in the message behind the creep video. She didn't believe in telling people to cheat on their mates. You know, so it's like little stuff like that. Truthfully, we, me and Lisa didn't really talk business. You know, she talked business with some other people and I think maybe my brother at times, because he actually um, worked with one of her first companies called Left Eye Productions. But like, I was never into the business, around the business, you know, our relationship was just like strictly big sister, little sister. She didn't talk about the business with me. So, you know, when I'm watching the movie and I'm seeing all this stuff with Pebbles, I don't know what happened. Like, I don't really know the inside details if everything is in the movie that really happened. But from what I'm hearing in the media, Pebbles is pretty upset. Everything TMZ printed, I would say about 80% of it was untrue. I made a statement, and I can tell you ver verbatim what I said, and then I'm sure you read what they put out. They sent an email to my manager at the time asking me what I felt about the Waterfall song. I had only heard it two days before, and I found out about it online. So I went online, one of the fans told me, I listened to it, and when they asked me what I felt about the song, the only thing I said was, I hadn't heard it before, I found out about it from a fan online. It would have been nice to been given a heads up, but it's okay if it's for Japan only. That's exactly what I said. So like everything they put out, it was it was just a lie. You know, my mom didn't even say anything. She didn't even hear the song, you know, to say she was mad or upset 
Only thing I said about my mother was she didn't hear the song, you know, so all that was fabricated. I think they were looking for a story and I think they knew what they wanted the story to be and whatever I said, they just took it and made their story. It wasn't resolved because everyone believes what TMZ said, including the girls, Tian Chili, the manager and everything, they believe what TMZ put out, you know, even though I said I didn't say that. So, I mean, that's unfortunate, but you know, it's good to go to the source and, you know, find out exactly what, you know, I said. So. Um, I mean, Tian's family, she, her uncle is married to my mom, so she's pretty much my cousin. I mean, I look at her like my sister, period, you know. Regardless of what goes down with TLC, she always, our relationship from the beginning has always been like my big sister, you know what I mean? Um, Chili, the relationship is more distant, like, even when they were together, we didn't really talk much, so that relationship is more distant. But Tian, you know, I'll always look at her like she's my sister, if, whether we're talking or not, so. <laughs> That's another thing, Lisa didn't adopt a daughter. She was going to, it was a girl she met when she was in the diversion center after burning down the house, and the girl had a daughter, so when Lisa got out, she, pretty much took the daughter under her wing, as well as her mom, and she had plans to adopt her. She never did, you know, but, you know, the girl lived with her at times, her mom lived with her at times, so, you know, it was a back and forth situation, but um, it was pretty much, quote, like her adopted daughter, but she never adopted her. But her name is Snow, and she's doing fine. You know, she actually uh, works as my assistant sometimes in Atlanta, like if I have events to go to, you know, I'll call her and see if she wants to accompany me and stuff like that. But yeah, she turned out to be a very beautiful person because when she was a little kid, I don't like calling kids bad, but like she was beyond bad. I wouldn't have a problem with a left eye hologram actually. Um, it's funny because I actually came up with that concept a couple years ago, even before the Tupac hologram, and I was told that it couldn't be done. You know, I, I think the word I said was like 3D. I didn't know about a hologram, so I was just, you know, talking to the manager saying, is there's something they can do like with maybe like a 3D image of Lisa on stage? And that was years ago. And they were like, no, they can't do that. And then when the Tupac thing came out, I was like, that's like exactly what I was talking about. But um, I think I would be cool with that. I mean, being there, seeing it is another story because you really don't know how you're going to react. But the thought of it, you know, I think Lisa would have loved something like that.